Hello, today I am finally doing the video where I answer your questions and that was from a video I put up a while ago where I was asking you guys to ask me questions. So I'm finally answering the questions. I won't be able to answer every question just because it would take way too long and also there were some questions that I already answered in the very first question and answer video that I did sometime last year. But yeah, so there are some kind of repeat questions that I won't be repeating here. So I've got the questions right here on my lap and let's get started. First question, what advice do you have for someone just starting their own channel? I would say definitely Probably the most important thing is letting people know that you're out there, letting people know that you have a channel, that your videos even exist. And a good way to do that is through social media sites like Facebook and Twitter, Tumblr, whatever it is. Um, basically exposure is what you're going to need to build your channel and get subscribers and views. And of course also having good quality videos, uploading regularly and constantly and everything like that, but just find a way to let people know that your videos even exist on the internet. That's the best thing that you can do starting out. Um, let's see. For those of you, uh, this is the next question. For those of us new YouTubers, would you let us know what kind of lighting you use, especially if you film without natural light from the windows? Um, I used to film with natural light, but I bought lighting on off of Amazon so that I would be able to film at night as well because relying on the natural light from the windows really limited me as far as how much I could film and I could only film during the daytime and stuff like that. So I decided to get lighting and I got it from Amazon, like I said. I think it's called like the cowboy lighting I think the brand is called Cowboy or something, but I will find the exact link for the one that I bought and I will post it in the description box below so you guys can go and check out the lighting if you're interested in that. How old are you and when is your birthday? I am 21 and my birthday is July 12th, 1991. So I'm like 21 and a half. And the next one is, what is your horoscope sign? I am a Cancer. If you could only use one makeup product, what would it be? Oh, I don't even know. Um, maybe, maybe concealer? I feel like I could get away with just concealer. That would be fine with me. Um, what are your favorite lipsticks, lip stains, tinted lip balms? I love, I was just talking about recently the, um, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I love that lip stain. For lip balms, tinted lip balms, I like the Baby Lips and um, also ones by e.l.f. They have good tinted lip balms. And favorite lipsticks? I don't know. I don't really wear lipsticks as much as I wear um, lip balms and everything, but I like, I like drugstore lipsticks a lot. I like... Um, Revlon and what else? I guess Maybelline. I like NYX lipsticks, stuff like that. So um, how was your high school experience and what were you involved in? The first, the beginning of high school, I was doing some cheerleading. I was doing competition cheerleading, which is that stuff that you see on TV, like the ESPN, where they go to competitions and it's a huge squad and you just do these routines, you know, with the tumbling and the stunts and everything. So I used to do the competition cheerleading my freshman year just because I really wanted to try it out. After I did the whole cheerleading thing, I decided to stop and not continue on with it so that I could fully pursue acting. So I stopped sports started doing acting, got myself in some acting classes, and also um, in high school I joined the drama program and chorus, which was so great and that honestly made my high school experience so incredible. I made so many great friends, some of my best friends. I had just the best time of my life doing the high school plays, being in drama classes, being in chorus, going to do the different um, chorus competitions while I was in high school. It was just so wonderful. I, I really have wonderful memories being in drama and chorus. How many siblings do you have and what are their ages? I have three siblings. I'm the youngest of four. I'm 21. Then my sister is 24. My brother is 26. And then my oldest sister is 28. Are you from the East Coast? Yes, I am. 
Can you sing, as in professionally? Um, yes, I can sing. Um, I'm not a professional. I, w I haven't been like professionally trained to sing, so I wouldn't call myself a professional singer, no, but I do sing, I can sing, I've done you know, musical theater, which is really fun, really great, and um, had some lead roles in that, so that was really, really fun to do, but I don't sing as much anymore. I mean, I like to sing, like, in my room and along to, you know, Pandora when I'm driving in the car and stuff, but um, I would like to sing more, definitely. What is your favorite quote? Oh, this is a good one. My favorite quote is, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. And that is by Henry David Thoreau. Would you rather shop in one-of-a-kind boutiques or somewhere like Neiman's? Um, both of those stores can be pretty expensive, so I don't know because I don't really like to spend a ton of money on clothes unless it's like some kind of really great quality investment type of piece like a really good quality coat or something, but um, I guess I would say um, one-of-a-kind boutique if it was one that wasn't outrageously expensive. <laughs> How often do you have to go to get your hair cut in order to maintain your hairstyle? I try to get it cut every six to eight weeks. I hear that you should get it cut every six weeks just to um, trim off the dead ends. So. I try to do that, sometimes I end up going over that just because of my schedule or I just forget to make an appointment or whatnot, but I say try to get a trim every six weeks or so. What's your favorite fragrance or perfume? Um, I really like, and I've always liked, let's see if I have it over here, uh, where is it? Well, I don't know where my full size bottle of it is, but I have this mini one. This is the Vera Wang Princess. I love this one. And I also really love uh, the Burberry scent. I think this is just the original one, Burberry London. I love this one so much. Um, and then I also, but you know what, recently, I haven't even been wearing like an actual perfume. I've been wearing just a body spray that's like a body ecology from Walmart or Target and it's um, vanilla. It's over there. It's, uh, to what does that say? Toasted vanilla sugar or something? Warm vanilla sugar? I don't know. It's like $2, 2 or $3 at Walmart or Target. So I've actually just been using that recently. Is that your natural hair color or do you dye your hair? I love it. If you dye it, can you tell us what color, brand it is, all that stuff. This is my natural hair color, so I don't dye it, so I can't tell you <laughs> what color it is. I'm sorry. How did your stay in LA go? How was the audition process in LA? Did you get nervous or anything? Um, LA was fine. It went well. Uh, I was there over the summer for a couple months. For those of you who don't know what this person's talking about, I went to audition for a couple months and just kind of get to know the LA area and everything because I knew that I'd be going back. So um, it went well. I didn't love my first experience there, but I'm hoping that my next time will be better. And in fact, I'm going to make sure that it is better. I'm going to make sure of it. And the audition process was um, not that different from other auditions that I've been on. Um, it was interesting. Some casting directors were much cooler than others. Um, some of them, you can tell that they cared more. Some of them were just like, in and out, you know, cool, nice to see you, thanks, we're done with you. Um, did you get nervous or anything? Um, maybe a little, but... I feel like I don't get that nervous for auditions anymore. I get more excited than anything. Next question. Do you look like your mom or your dad? Definitely my mom. So many people tell me I look like my mom and I agree. She, well you guys have probably seen her in my vlogs. You guys have seen my mom and my dad so I guess you can decide but I think my mom People tell me I look like my mom more than my other three siblings because, well, they all look different. They're all blonde with blue eyes, and I have brown hair with green eyes, and my mom has brown hair, so um, I think I definitely look more like her. You have an extraordinary sense of style. When or where is your style inspired from, and when you need inspiration, what and where do you turn to? Um, first of all, thank you for saying that. That's really nice of you. Um, I think as far as style inspirations, it's not 
really one person. I guess it's just like what I think of in terms of what I like. I like really classic styles and just classic and timeless pieces of clothing, things that you can wear throughout the years and they're not gonna go out of style. And as far as inspiration, I take a lot of inspiration from the clothing styles from the 1950s. I love that style. I also love the hair and makeup from the 50s, but also the 60s. I think I like the clothing from the 50s and hair and makeup mostly from the 60s. Um, and music from the 60s too. But um, yeah, I love the 50s styles. I love um, the cinched in waist, how a lot of things were belted, the dresses were belted, the button up part of dresses in the front and then like the flowy skirts that come out. I just, I love that so much. So definitely I would say the 1950s and um, just anything that looks classic and timeless and put together, sophisticated, all those things I said. And um, yeah, that's what I like. How do you stay motivated and positive in life? It's kind of a big question because there are so many things that go into that, but I guess just keeping in mind what my goals are and trying to work towards those goals and um, what keeps me positive. I don't know. I think I just have positive influences all around me. My parents are really positive. They're really encouraging, which really helps me to stay um, encouraged and inspired and positive because it's so great that they support me in everything I do. And um, I don't know. I think being positive is something that you really choose. You choose every single day whether or not you're going to have a good day. It's all in your mind. You can just, you can choose. You really can can choose whether you're gonna have a good attitude about something or not. So it's really just, it's all up to you and it's all in your mind. Your mind is so much more powerful than you even know, which is something my dad always says. Favorite drugstore and high-end foundation. Um, my favorite drugstore foundation is definitely the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. Um, oh, well, I'm guessing, I was thinking like liquid foundation. So for some reason, like that's what I assumed that that meant. So that's for liquid foundation. For a powder foundation, it would be the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation. High-end foundation, I actually don't own any high-end foundation, so I can't tell you a favorite for that one. What is a good hairspray? I really like the Tresemme, just the big can of spray, that, um, that hairspray, the Tresemme hairspray. I think that's a good one. Do you speak, read, write, or understand any language other than English? Um, no, not really. <laughs> I mean, I studied Spanish in high school, but let's be honest, I don't really remember any of that. So, I mean, I can read, I can pronounce Spanish, like I know how to pronounce Spanish words, but I don't necessarily know what they mean. Are you voting this year? I did vote this year. This was before the election when these questions were asked. That's why it says that. But um, yes, I did vote this year. Have you ever been to New York City? Yes, I have. I've been there twice and I loved it and I would love to go back. What is your hair like if you were to just have it air dry? My hair air dries pretty straight, honestly. Um, it might get a tiny, tiny bit wavy in some areas, like the ends might flip out a bit or maybe the back, but um, it mostly just dries pretty straight. What do you do for beauty in terms of nutrition? There's a lot going around about how nutrition, minerals, and vitamins play a role in healthy skin, hair, and nails. What are your thoughts and how do you personally take any vitamins? If so, what do you recommend? Ah, <sighs> that's a lot. Um, I know nutrition plays a big part in beauty and everything. I would say drink a lot of water. I try to drink a lot of water. Some days I don't, but if I'm home all day, then I'm constantly drinking water, like constantly refilling my little glass of water. Um, oh, also I take, as far as vitamins, I do, I take prenatal vitamins because it's good for your hair and your nails. And apparently it helps your hair and nails grow faster and stronger, so. And I take those in the form of gummies because I can't swallow pills. So um, yeah, those are really good and that's what I take for that. Is Adela your sister or brother's daughter? It is my sister's daughter, my oldest sister, which I, who I showed in my Christmas vlog, her name is Megan. So um, 
Adelaide and Mac are um, my sister, my oldest sister's kids, and then Kendall is my other sister, Maddie's child. You live in a hot state. Do you like real winter and snow? Um, yeah, I do. I like I like winter. I like when it gets a little colder. Not too cold because I found that I can't really handle cold weather too much, which is um, unfortunate. And snow, I haven't seen snow since I was probably 10 or 11. So, um, but I, I like snow. I think it's cool. And I'm going today after this video, I am going to go snowboarding. So I'm going to see snow. So that's really exciting. Do you, well, not in the state, obviously. I'm going to a different state because it does not snow in the state where I live. What are you planning to do after college? Probably move to LA because that's where the acting jobs are. LA or New York, but more likely LA. Is your boyfriend also an actor? <laughs> no, he's not, but I'm telling you, he could be. He's so funny and he's so good at impressions. He does the best impressions of so many people and yeah, I, I really think he could be an actor and he told me that he used to want to be an actor when he was younger too. But he's not an actor, he's a filmmaker. The next question is, do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I do have a boyfriend and then they say, if so, would you ever do any videos with him? Um.